Hey gang, Jack Allaire here, and uh, I have been playing uh, for the past, uh, I think, two weeks, Star Wars The Old Republic. Um, the first thing you have to do when you uh, start a game is go on to your server. Uh, that was already chosen for me because I have friends that play on this server and we're on Starforge. Uh, I started with the free-to-play account, which means you have limited access to the races. My you can unlock more as you go. But I decided to go ahead and go with the cyborg. And I did a little bit of research um, on uh, YouTube on, what's it, Swotorista? I think is how you say it, but it's uh, S-W-T-O-R-I-S-T-A. There'll be a link down in the description below. There's also a link to, I have now subscribed, so when we get caught up you'll be seeing what the differences are. The subscribers... Uh, have the ability to recruit a friend, so if any of you want to come join and play on the servers, uh, there's a recruit a friend. It works for new players as well as, I believe, people that have not subscribed for six months. Um, and I'm going through the character creation process now. Thank you, dog. The character creation process was actually kind of fun. For once, they actually let... Like, you can have really tall women, which was a nice bonus. But yeah, I did research and decided to play the Imperial Agent, so I am on uh, the Imperial side. I'm going to go ahead and speed this up. But it gets to uh, where we actually do a name. And I decided to go with uh, She Nova. So I don't know why that popped into my head, but it did. Alright, so we've created our character, we put in our name, we push the button, and we are instantly taken to a loading screen. Now this is going to hop into galaxy far, far away, ship to landing, we're going to do some stuff, and then eventually we're going to get control of our character. Okay, so now we've got control, and the first thing we're going to notice is that really bright flashing tip screen. The tool tips are kind of impressive. They're annoying at points, but they're generally worth reading, especially if you haven't played an MMO before. Or if you haven't played a game of, of this light, because it's going to tell you, okay, the triangle icon, these are uh, normal quests, and then there are story missions, mission offers, exploration missions, repeatable missions, and it kind of lets you know what you want to do. It also, that is important to show exploration missions, because if you don't do that, they don't show up on your map, because they're treated as something special for some reason. Now, a lot of these we're going to cut out just because there isn't time uh, to cover all of the tooltips, but most of them are useful in some fashion. Like this one actually told me that these are, uh, what are they called? Double sided arrow icons. Head to your map. Taxis. Taxis. So here's us getting one of our first quests, and we talk to the droid, the droid, uh, we get an option. I apologize for the formatting of these first couple, because they will be cut off, just because I was playing I on a monitor that had a weird resolution. So the cool thing is that most of these missions are voice acted, so you get to see the character, they talk to you, you talk to them, you actually get to choose how you want to deal with them. Uh, generally speaking, the number one key is the uh, you are okay with this option. The second is uh, kind of iffy, generally asking for more clarification. The bottom one is uh, normally snarky or sometimes downright rude. But this is uh, just another tool tip. The tutorials are, like I said, are generally pretty good. This is the mailbox. So I want to warn you guys, the first time you join, you might get mail. If you get mail, be careful about grabbing things because you don't have that big of an inventory when you start. So I think you only have 30 inventory slots. And this will actually give you things you can't use. So if you see that paint job is for an Imperial paint job I can use, the one right next to it, which is grayed out, I can't use that. 
Oh, these are for the for the starfighters. You'll see those later on when I get there. I am not good at it, so don't expect high level play from me. And then a tooltip leads us to uh, taught me how to do combat, so I decided to come do combat. It's sort of tab target. There's a there's like a mixture of it. So there are some things that are tab targeted, there are some things that are direct area. So I, one of my favorite things later on is I throw out basically a eight poison darts, I believe. But I have fun. I kill stuff like you do, and then you loot them. The lighting is a little weird in the the lighting of the corpses will tell you what's on them. I think if it's only blue, that means it's only credits. I think that guy's only credits. White means he's got junk on him. And then there's green means he's got something else. But there we leveled again. So we're moving right along. And we're going to get a very important tooltip here in a minute. Which are trainers. Now these are the little, the little I call them tents with a plus underneath means they have a skill to treat to train you. A sprint you can learn at level one if you are a subscriber. You notice how there were two options there. I never clicked on the other one. I do that way later. Um, and here we are looking at the inventory. So the inventory, like I said, it is not big and you have 30 slots. Almost half my inventory is full just from the stuff that I got from my mail. And I'm about to make it a lot worse because there are some of these. You see, it has all that stuff in it, and I'm gonna go give it to me. So now it's my inventory is even more full, and I eventually went with the red one. Those three little dots, the reason I paused there is that those three dots mean that someone is in a conversation. They're in a cutscene. So you can see who can see you and who can't. So if they're in a cutscene, they're not gonna see you, more than likely. My coward of a husband has taken my son, and I need someone with the wit and muscle to bring him back. She's a very angry wife. Why would your husband take your son? Because he's both a coward and a fool. My son is gifted. Do you understand me? Gifted. Yeah, every parent thinks their kids are. I'm listening. Continue. This is uh, my contact here, and he's basically starting to lay out the plot of what we're doing. What we're actually doing here. If there's another red blade out there, won't that be a problem? Small seal popudus mana ira padare mana nan kali. So the different doorways, if they are red, you can't go through them. If they're green, you can. And if they're blue, it means that someone's letting you go through. So we're now level three. Acknowledged and understood. Your next task is to access Nemo's inner circle. Present yourself to the hut as a fellow gangster, the Red Blade. And offer him jigs so we're gonna go do that these are daily quests so or weekly quests excuse me so a lot of times you'll see these little kiosks around and they'll have the repeatable and that means that you can do those over and over again let me take my son and flee tell my wife that you persuade oh me and we the choice is in run. in the Should quests really the way that you deal with them can give you light side and dark side points so for instance, I'm getting some light side points here because I am generally trying to play as a light side Imperial, which makes a lot, some of the conversations really weird. This is the collections tab. The collections tab basically shows you everything that you have access to on that character. 
that can be collected. So lightsaber pieces, pets, mounts, Where armor, all kinds I of stuff. I told you to get my son back. I took the liberty of putting him on the shuttle myself. Oh. So now we're level four. We've dealt with crazy lady who wants to turn her people into Sith. I pause here because you see that in the vendor menu, there is a sell junk item. You don't have to mouse over everything and sell it one by one. You can just push sell junk and it'll all go away. The pirate's on her way. Security droids say she's armed, but she won't be trouble. Let's hope not. Here she is now. I'll go tell the boss. This is Carol's. Tell the throne room that the blades arrived. Hello there, my pretty friend. Don't say anything yet. Act casual. So this is my favorite skill, Fragmentation Grenade. And I finally click over onto the operative tab, which means they're, those have been hiding there since level two and level, or since level two. I just got level four. This operation of ours has drawn the attention of a member of the Dark Council, Darth Jadus himself. Ooh. Be in such a hurry, Blade. Don't you remember me, your old buddy, Dino Ray? I don't think you looked this good when we met up on Hoth. Or so girly. But you couldn't be an imposter, you know your friend Dino. Yeah, Dino, my friend. What? Who you... Oh, man. Hey, look, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm really sorry. Me and the boys were just having some fun. You know, we didn't think you, you're not going to kill me, are you? Tempting. Look, it's not that big a deal. Let Morsel do his job and everything's fine. Horrible. Most of you are decent, though not too bright. Like my little helper here. Say hello, Imat. Welcome to Varsunta's many treasures. Do you know the Black Death who slaughters my people? And here's an example of Fragmentation Grenade. It's just so much fun. You also get experience for uh, finding new locations, and that's what just made me hit level 6. And then these guys respawned on the way out, so got them again. That's enough, Emot. Get back to work scrubbing those broken power converters. Here's your credits, my friend. Safe travels to you. And that's it for the first day. I logged off after this and then continued the next day. We'll pick that up next video. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, play on.